and we are speaking about none other than Esther Chebet, who is popularly known for her role on The Real Housewives of Kawangware. Now, House Helps. House Helps. Oh, Housewives. Housewives have become so many. <laughs> the Real House Helps of Kawangware. Yeah, the real house house of Kawangware, excuse me, mm. for making it a housewife. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, we all know her. We all love her. She is a beautiful soul. She's a beautiful, gorgeous person. She's always rocking an afro, and I love, mm. love, love that for her. Because, wow, afro gang, it's not, it's not easy. It's not easy. However, she is speaking about a few things that are close to her heart, including body shaming and the all going in her DMs for no reason, right? But she also does speak about mental health in this particular um particular conversation in the same beat now we all are aware well now we have been made aware that she lost her mom a few um i think about a year ago and uh, she lost her mom last year and that was really really heavy for her of course let me tell you ain't nothing easy <laughs> like losing a parent <laughs> it is hard it is hard and unfortunately people assume you you will grieve one day and then you're good the next day that's not how it works that's not grief that's yeah. not how grief works so she says she did lose her mom last year and we're really sorry for the loss of your mom and and she re actually was there watching her mom as she passed on, which is even harder, even more traumatizing. And she says that this put her in a journey of um, a lot of depression. She did start having some mental health issues, including depression. And she says that this is not foreign for her because she has been through the thick of it. And she says even in March she got hospitalized and she was there for about two weeks on medication and mood stabilizers again nothing to be ashamed about we all need help we all need if you need anxiety medication please get it if you need medication for ADHD please get it if you need mood stabilizers because your body has just rejected you and now you're fighting for your life you get that because it is for you and we are happy that she actually did go through this and she did um, eventually get help and she's now doing very very well however she does say that she is very surprised is that people have the audacity, the capacity, and the gall, the gumption to go in her DMs and insult her and hurl all kinds of ridiculous things to her. She says that um, she needs to address people who feel like they are entitled to her space. She says, these comments and messages uh, would have gotten to the old her. Like Kitambo, I would have crumbled under that. But right now, to body shamers, you don't know what someone is going through. So shame on you. And it is a high time that you change your ways. She actually has mentioned that she does go to her DMs and she finds people talking about her body. People telling her that, you know, she's not good enough. Like her body, you're fat, you're, you're skinny. And these things happen. Let me tell you, not only on the DMs, but in your comment section. Mm. You will see people even walking in front of you and they're like, oh, me, I didn't think you looked like this in real life. And oftentimes, it's usually the opposite, we thank God. But people are ab abrasive enough when you see someone and you, you're so quick to actually tell them that they don't look like your expectations have not been met. As if we're supposed to somehow, I don't know, become this picturesque thing that you deem us to be. It's a lot of pressure being on social media. It's a lot of pressure being in the media industry. Mm -hmm. And I completely get where she's coming from. However... Why well, the people who have the energy to actually go to someone's DM and tell them they look fat? These are thoughts that you keep in your head. We all think bad things about people. This is normal. It's human. However, how you deal with that information that is being processed in your head is where we actually want to bring a little humanity. Mm. There's nothing wrong with thinking evil thoughts. We all do it. It's life. It is part of the human experience. However, mm. you don't need to then enunciate these words or even go so far as start typing these words on your DMs on your phone. Imagine the energy. You see someone's post on social media. Immediately, you go to your keyboard. Da, 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 you look ugly. I thought you were skinnier. You need to lose some weight. You need to go to the gym. You need, you need, you need, you need, you need. And send. Your energy is not going to be happy. Your energy is me. I wonder where you get it from. Because it is so vile. Imagine this is someone who's going through mental health issues. They're already struggling with their own self-esteem. They're already struggling with their own you know, appearance, appearance and all of these other things. And then you add this on top of them. Why would you do that? Why would you, why would you do this? Why would you go so far as to make someone feel worse than they did in the morning? And even if they don't feel bad about it, even if they're happy and comfortable in their body, why do you still feel the need to put them down a peg? As who? Are you God? What was the reason? Are you Allah? Hmm. Are you any... What? That is exactly it. What was the reason? 
Um, I I love Star Chebe. She's such a beautiful soul. She she'll just good energy. You watch her content. She just looks like a very genuine person. And you just want to hang out with her. She's such a nice person. And to think she is now receiving such threats, such comments, such hateful spaces. You're like, what is wrong with people? Why would you think that? And as a person who's been on the receiving end of such negative, bad energy, I usually just picture this person and I think, what was going through your mind when you were doing what you were doing? What was happening while you were saying all of these things, while you were writing such a hateful comment, while you came to my page, watched my content, and then say, ha, ata tumbako suju nakaji. Even yesterday, on, on my social media, on my personal social media, I actually had to call someone out who came to our video and was just like, ah, besi besi adi kwa tumbo. Ah, that was so funny. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Why don't you say, ah, you mean plus size hawa kwangi watu wa remo. I'm like, what, what do you mean? They're not seeing a body who's thick. And I'm just like, immediately I see such a comment, I just picture you in a dimly lit room. In a under toilet. Your covers. Yeah. You know, you're just in a very ghetto place and you're just typing this because I refuse to believe that somebody who is successful lives in a mansion would have the time to come to my page and tell me I look ugly. You know, it's only bitter people. It's only somebody who's going through something. So I think with that mentality, I kind of stopped taking these things seriously, especially being on social media for a long time. Oh, it took a while for this thick skin to grow. There were times I would just cry because I don't, why do you hate me? I'm such a good person. Why do you hate me? But it takes a while for you to ah, grow thick skin. And no one should. No one should have to go, grow thick skin to withstand abuse from strangers. It's yeah. absolutely unnecessary. Yeah. So before you type something, ask yourself, why am I doing this? Okay. Do I have enough money in my bank account? No. Let me go to work. Do something with your life.